Hello everybody, hope you're doing great and are ready for some volcano updates. In the last three days, we've got lots of exciting news. Unusual seismic activity was being detected in the Torrevjökull area for a couple of days and had scientists surprised. Routine flybys in the area have been used to look for any visible changes, but so far nothing has been found. The activity on the Reykjanes Peninsula was at an high in the last three days and was overall pretty interesting, and it looks like we've entered the new chapter I talked about in a recent video. How does this recent activity compare to the activity a week ago, and what is going on in the Torvajökull area? Well, let's find out in the data and detail section. So, this activity in the Torvajökull area are frequent and repetitive small earthquakes that, at this point, could have three explanations. Before we take a look at that, let's see what has happened in the last seven days. Beginning on the Reykjanes Peninsula, where it looks very much like we've entered the new chapter. There has been increasing activity in the pressure build-up zones, and the earthquakes have been more powerful than usual. The activity in the magma dike hasn't seen many changes. If we take a closer look, we see there's not much action, and the average earthquake depth seems to be sinking. We had this burst of larger earthquakes just north of Krisvík, that was most likely caused by the release in pressure due to the magma dike. It's definitely worth mentioning the increase in activity under the Reykjanes Ridge overall. The activity is slowly starting to resemble the activity back in February and March, and just by comparing last week's activity you can see the difference. The last 48 hours have been more busy than a couple of days ago, and now I'm talking on Iceland as a whole. If we take a look at the Reykjanes Peninsula since the last upload, we can see that in the most recent days the activity seems to be taking a break. We'll see if it'll pick up again, which it seems to do most of the time. But let's take a look at the most recent and exciting area, Torvajökull. If you remember, I talked about this area in my last video, and that the recent activity could mean something. Well, to my surprise, the very next day, our geologists told us that they've been detecting strange activity in the area, and are now monitoring it. This strange activity is in the form of small, repetitive earthquakes, sort of like pulses, with around 8 quakes detected an hour pretty consistently, now for the last two days. I say earthquakes because our geologists are not sure yet what's causing these small pulses, but there are three possibilities. It's either magma intrusion, which would be very exciting, something landslide related, or that the geothermal system, which is the largest one in Iceland, is changing in some way causing these earthquakes. The tremors chart for Faradarsfjall has been pretty stable, so nothing strange happening there. But with all this recent data, what can we expect in the next couple of days? Well, let's find out in the speculations and predictions section. As I said earlier, we have most likely entered the so-called new chapter, since the activity on the Reykjanes Peninsula has changed. Now we'll just have to wait and see if it will continue in this more active and powerful variation, or fade out. The situation in Torvjökull is very exciting, but also very mysterious. We know so little about this volcano system's characteristics, but what we do know is that it can be very powerful, and based on historic events, it often has effects on systems like Bárðarbunga, which is a large system that gave us the Holohraun eruption, for example. It's very hard to say for sure if magma is causing this recent activity, since there are these other strong candidates. 
The best way to find out though is to wait. Yep, we'll definitely get more answers in the next couple of days, so if you want to be up to date, stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, you could consider leaving a like, since that tells others it's worth a watch. Other than that, I just want to thank you for tuning in, hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.